Hi, in order to use HubSpot um, add-on in your Outlook, so you have your Outlook, if you come to Files, and in the info here you have Manage Add-ons. If you go to Manage Add-ons, it'll um, take you to here. Uh, let me minimize this so you can see. And uh, these are all your add-ons that you already installed. And if you look at um, HubSpot Sales, at the moment, I've already added it, but if you haven't, you, uh, it will come up with the option to add it to your uh, Microsoft Office 365. So um, if you're admin, uh, as you can see, this is admin manage. You can install it for all your staff um, in Office 365. So one person um, as admin can install it for all the users um, to make it easier. So that's the first step. Um, if you are using the Microsoft 365 online version of it, um, so all the emails are here, um, HubSpot comes on the right hand side and you can see um, where you are, so I just need to log into the right account, and um, you see HubSpot um, on, on this side of the um, screen. Um, and everything that you sent here would be uh, recorded in HubSpot and all that. But most of you um, use the Outlook, so I'm just going to show you the Outlook. Um, so if I go back to Outlook, um, if I go, because I've installed the add-in now, um, um, you see on the right-hand side this um, box will arrive. It wouldn't have much till you start typing the contact. So if the contact is already there, it's going to bring all the information about the contact. You can say view contact. Um, you can see all about it, company, all the deals, um, tasks, tickets, all the information about the uh, person would be there. Um, recent activity, you can see all the view activity. Um, you can see all the activities that you had with um, that. So you um, all the emails, anything that it was there. Um, and you can just go to add in setting and change things if you want to. These two tick boxes are there um, for you. If this was sending a private um, email uh, to um, your lawyer or your partner and you don't want it to be logged, you can untick this. This is by default is um, ticked because you want to um, record those. And also tracking, uh, I think, um, every email you want to track whether they opened it or not anyway. You have access to your email template. You can access to sequence if you have Sales Pro. You can insert documents. So this way, uh, instead of attachment, it goes as a link, um, which um, then you can track, see who clicked on it. Uh, you can have your meeting links. So you can um, propose time or you have your um, different meeting links here. You can insert, you have a snippet, which is a shorter version of template, so it just in, uh, insert the paragraph. Um, you can um, also put the uh, payment link if you're using the HubSpot payment, um, so they can click there and uh, make the payment. You can also use AI um, to write your email for you as well, so you have access to everything here. So that's um, when you want to send the email. If you receive the email um, and you reply to the email, it'll um, basically save it. So let's see, this is the email um, that I have. Um, the sales tool um, HubSpot is here. And as you can see, this email, because obviously um, it's um, spam um, uh, and this advertisement, I'm not going to uh, add it to HubSpot. So, and that's a point. So when you receive an email from somebody, it's not necessarily um, logging it to HubSpot. It's when um, it is a conversation. So it's a reply. Uh, it'll add it there. Uh, so if I reply to this, it'll uh, basically track add Emma uh, to my contact list and uh, put this email on the Emma's um, contact. If I don't want to um, reply, but I want to record this um, email. I can just go here and log this email um, and save it. I don't want to save this, but you basically save it. So this is the email that you received. Um, you're not going to reply. If you reply, obviously it'll uh, record it. 
but um, you just received the email and you want to record it um, in HubSpot, you can do that as well. So I think that's um, all you need from Outlook and HubSpot. And obviously, as um, I was uh, showing you before, you can, if you decided that you need something in HubSpot uh, with that, uh, you have the option to open in CRM and it opens up in actual HubSpot and then you can do um, a bit more advanced uh, stuff in HubSpot as well. But for daily use, you have all the information here and it's a good opportunity for you to uh, um, also update the information if something is missing. Um, a telephone number is not there, um, you can add it. Um, any of the um, other information is not there, you can add it there. Hope um, that helps and uh, if you have any question feel free to contact us.